What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as D365 Geek, and today we're talking about Power Automate, we're talking about expressions, and we're going to talk about the format date time function in the date and time um, functions collection. So format date time is the ability to pass in a timestamp and then format it in a certain way. Now, if you've watched some of my previous videos, you'll know that when you're doing various functions to add time or remove time from um, these these timestamps, you can actually do a conditional formatting or like you know a, an optional formatting on the end. But this function is just specifically designed to uh, format the date and time. So let's take a look at it. So in Power Automate here, I've got a manual trigger flow and I've got a compose action here for testing. If I look into the inputs and go over to expression, I can scroll down until we get to date and time. Click on see more, and then we can go down to format date time. So you can see we've got two parameters here, timestamp and format. Now, format is actually an optional parameter. It doesn't have a question mark next to it here, but it is actually an optional parameter that we do or do not need to pass in. Um, what this will do um, is this will you pass in a timestamp and we pass in a format. If you don't have a format, it'll actually just use the standard ISO uh, 86010 style format. So we click format date time and it goes into the expression enter at the top. We'll scroll up and we'll use UTC now so we can get our um, timestamp, which is nice and easy. If I add a comma in, it then tells me this is optional and it tells me about the formatting uh, being part of the ISO 8601 and then we can add in uh, a format that we want here. Now, one of the things um, that if you're ever working with date and times is is to look at the styles or the the ISO 8601 formats that are available because these will be how you create your or how you format your date and times in Power Automate. So Power Automate uses those as kind of a basis because the ISO is a standard that can be used across multiple things. They use this as a way to format it. So um, the O style format will give you kind of like a UTC style doing sort of a year in full, then a dash, then the month, then a dash, then um, the uh, day, then a T, then the hours, minutes and seconds and milliseconds. Um, but that's not always that usable for people. So one thing that we could do is we could format this in um, the UK style, or, you know, the international format. So we could do uh, DD for day then add a forward slash, do uh, capital MM for months, and then a forward slash, and then do lowercase yy, yy, and that will output it to be day, day, month, month, year, 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 year. So click OK. It goes into that uh, compose action there. Click test, save and test, run the flow, click OK and then we can see outputs like this. So this is me just dictating that format and that style. Now, um, there are single character uh, formatting things that you can do. So we could just change this to be uh, D, for instance, um, and this is an American style format. Um, so we click Save and Test and run this again, show you how this outputs. So this just outputs to uh, just these, but we've got the uh, day and the month switched around. Um, we can add in other things, so we could use uh, G for instance, which again is an American style format. This one does not include a 24 hour clock, but does show the time, which uh, D does not. Um, and then we have, again, that American style um, date uh, format, but uh, we also have a 12 hour clock with an AM or a PM at the end as well. So I'll leave a link to the ISO uh, 8601 uh, page uh, in the description, but you can look at those to see what you can format and how you can format your date and times um, if they need to be a bit more readable. And this function means that you can do it um, regardless of having to like you know mess around with the dates and stuff like that. Just that's never good. So, what do you guys use this for at the moment? Let me know in the comments down below, or find me on social media and tell me there. Uh, if you like this video, please like and please share it with your friends. It's always appreciated. If you've not already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can continue to get all these great videos. And I'll see you next time.